I'm going to instruct you not to tell the court anything that someone else said. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Um, go ahead. Was calling that information out to the county in question, was that the end of your personal involvement in the follow-up on, on the suggestion that the boy's father might have had something to do with it? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, at any point, did any of your superiors show up? Yes, sir. And who was the first one? Lieutenant Foster. And where is he in relation to you and the chain of command, the rank structure? He's my lieutenant for that watch. Okay. Uh, about how long did you get there after you arrived? Uh, it was pretty quick because uh, once I got the uh, initial information about what was going on, it, this standard is to, you contact your lieutenant and advise them what you have. Okay. And did he come out and, and become the senior man on scene uh, after a little while? Yes, sir. Okay. Did anybody else from the Chatham County Police Department command staff show up? Uh, yes, sir. There was uh, the detective showed up. Uh, there was the uh, assistant chief showed up. Uh, there was the detective, uh, lieutenant, captains. They all showed up. Okay. Do you remember who was first on scene for the detectives? I think it was Detective Lemons. I think that was the first person I made contact with. Okay. There was other detectives there. Did Detective Wilkins come out? Yes. What about Detective Noble? Yes, he was there. Okay. Um, at any point, was there a response um, by a canine tracking team? Yes, sir. Can you tell us about that? Where, where were they from? They were requested there was a county uh, to the south of town county, and that they came in. They called it out. I think it was around Reedsville. And when they arrived, what did they do? They came in. They was, they was in the front yard. Uh, and they was talking to the lieutenant. And I guess after that, they went and did a search. Now, you mentioned that the detectives showed up um, after some time, right? Yes, sir. Now, once the detectives show up, who's in control of the scene? The detectives. Okay. So at that point, they took control uh, and, and sort of relieved the patrol officers of, of command? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, about how long were you at the scene total? Um, it was quite a while. Probably, I would say probably about two hours. Now, you mentioned that the defendant, her boyfriend, and her brother were present at the scene when you arrived, right? That's correct, sir. Now, at some point, were they transported to headquarters for questioning? They were. And were you involved in that in any way? Uh, no, sir. Uh, a couple of my units were. They assisted the detectives. Do you remember who, who that was? I uh, no, I don't. Okay. Now, after um, your involvement at the scene concluded, any other organized uh, searches for the missing child? I did. Can you tell us about that, please? Once I left uh, Buckholder Road, I was, a, I was advised to go to the church. There's a church that's located on the corner of Garrard Avenue and Lewis Mills Boulevard. And what was happening at the church? They, they, at the church, it was having other resources come in to do the search. Other officers were coming in, and I think they had a civilian search team that came in. Okay, what do you mean by other resources coming in to do the search? Uh, when they have something, uh, and when they have evident, I mean, events where they have missing child, children, they are calling other agencies and ask for assistance. Sheriff Department, uh, and then you just have a lot of other people come in to help us aid with the search. And when when did that search take place and how long did it last? It took place uh, right after I left uh, Buckhall, it came down. All the units started coming in. And I think we have a had a representative from SEMA that was there too. SEMA being Chatham Emergency Management yes, sir. Agency or Authority or something like that? That's correct. Okay. Um, Roughly how many people were involved in this, this search that you're talking about that originated at the church? I would say there were probably about 50 people there. And what were y'all doing? Uh, well, once they got into the church, uh, they briefed them on what was going on, and they briefed them on the, on the areas that they wanted to search. Okay. And, and what happened after that? And once that was over, they broke up in groups, and they searched the area. Everybody 